Hey guys, so just a quick update on what has been happening and the goings on of this week. Um, we had guests over this weekend. Uh, my brother's girlfriend and her family, who have been family friends forever, so it's not necessarily because it's his girlfriend. But yeah, they were here for the weekend. Um, her father's also a pastor. They're from Tennessee, so they spent the weekend with us. We had a really great church service. Um, he talked about not judging others, but, you know, learning to discern without judgment, and it was just really good. Um, and then after church on Sunday, um, we went to the best Chinese place in, the best Chinese place. I won't, I won't say in New York City, because I haven't tried all of them, I'm sure there's some great ones out there, and if you're from New York, I know you probably have your spot or whatever, but this Chinese place, uh, we go to Long Island for it, and it's probably... A 15 minute, 20 minute drive if there's traffic, um, but it's so worth it. It's so good. So good. And so we sat, we ate, we talked, and then uh, uh, they left. So, um, yeah, but we had a good weekend. We had fun. Um, Saturday, what did we do Saturday? We went shopping on Saturday. You guys, I haven't been shopping in such a long time, and... I don't know, it was like therapy. It was like I, I bought one thing and I was like, oh my god, this feels so good. One of the things that I bought is this book right here. Um, and it's called A Voice in the Wind. It's by Francine Rivers, who is an amazing author. She wrote um, Redeeming Love, which I also have. And I loved it. I thought that was the best book ever. And um, so when my brother's girlfriend came, she was like, oh my gosh, you have to read this one. It's so good. It's so much better. And so I bought that. Um, and that was one of the things that I bought because we went to Barnes & Noble. So I bought that and I bought um, Pride and Prejudice, which if you can believe, I love, love, love the story and I love the movie, but I've never read the book. And it's a shame. It's an outright shame. So I bought the book. Just so that I, I, I think I should read it. I think it's a classic and I should read it. So that's why I bought it. <laughs> and then we went to, um, we went to New York and Company and we went to Bolton's. And New York and Company is my store. Like, I, there's hardly anything in there that I don't like. There's hardly anything. Their style, their color scheme, like everything. They bring it out and I love it. So we went there, bought uh, a couple sweaters. Um, some necklaces. Yeah, it was good. I, I did that and I, just, I felt so good. I was like, I need to get it out of my system. Because for a long time I've been wanting to go shopping. And I just haven't, I either haven't had the time or haven't had the money. <laughs> and it just so happened that I had both that day. So, that was that. Um, yeah, and then we came home. We played this new game called Settlers of Catan. And it's really fun and I'm thinking about getting it. I'm not sure if everyone here would like it. But I liked it. I enjoyed it. And then we played with our Xbox Connect, which is finally set up, if I didn't tell you before. Um, we had it sitting around for a really long time. We finally got it set up. And it's a lot of fun. We still have to get a couple things. I want to get the Zumba because besides that one day that I vlogged about, I haven't been back to the track. <laughs> so I really need to, to get something that will... Um, get my blood flowing, my tiger blood flowing, if you've been following Charlie Sheen's madness. Um, yeah. He's got tiger blood! He's a winner! So, I need to get Zumba for the, the Xbox Connect, and I also want to get the sports package, because I think that would be a good workout, like boxing and stuff, so. Um, it's Monday. I just, well, not just, but I got home from school about an hour ago. Um, this morning... I got up at 8.35, and I'm supposed to leave the house at 8.30. And the reason for that is I did not hear my alarm, because my alarm's on my phone, and I didn't hear it. And I don't know why. It happened Saturday, too. I got up really late on Saturday, and I was like, what happened? The alarm was set. So I don't know. I have to figure it out. I don't know if it's because I'm just that tired, or if it's because the alarm is set too low. I don't know. I don't know. i got to figure it out. But that cannot happen again because I had 15 minutes. And the thing is, like last night, I'm like thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to wash my hair. I'm going to blow dry it. I have a cute outfit. And I got up this morning and I was rushing. I like I had 15 minutes. I just like splashed some water on my face, brushed my teeth. 
And then, like, I was rushing to put makeup on, because I was like, I can't just leave. <laughs> and I threw a hoodie over some jeans, and I was like, gotta go. Um, yeah, it was, it was crazy this morning. And then when I got to school, classes were good. Of course, my history class, amazing. Um, yeah, and then I did this meeting for, like, a year of, a year of insert country here. Um, it's uh, basically this thing at school that's trying to promote cultural diversity and cultural awareness and so um, yeah they're doing Year of India and so I'm I'm working on that committee now officially so fun stuff um, I think that's pretty much all for today I don't know if I'm doing anything interesting honestly I don't have any plans I'm focusing on homework assignments and reading and I have two midterms next week um, but yeah, hopefully you'll hear from me again before this week is over. <laughs> oh, since I'm not doing anything today, <laughs> I like how that was, it was like, whoa! Um, I decided to do this thing, that, uh, Egyptian princess. By the way, I haven't mentioned her in a while, it's because I haven't seen her in a while. I haven't seen her in, like, I don't know, three weeks? It's horrible. Absolutely horrendous. So I decided that I'm going to do this thing that she has been wanting me to do forever, and, um, it's this look into your bag thing. Look, you look into your bag, you see what's in there randomly on a random day. And I figured that today would be a good random day because it's heavy as heck and I have no idea what's in it. This thing is like, I don't know, it's got to be at least 15 pounds. It's horrible. So we're going to look in here and see what I've got in here that's weighing me down. First of all, this is my purse. Isn't it cute? I don't know if you can really see it, but uh, my brother got it for me for Christmas. I think it's adorable. Number one thing that you need to have if you're in New York, Metro card. This will get you everywhere and anywhere. Um, Paul's Defense, which I must have because there are sick people in school and they need help. Pen. Um, this is my new purse. Don't you love it? I bought this also on Saturday. Isn't it cute? I love it. I love it. So sleek, so sophisticated. And it's uh, Kenneth Cole, which is awesome. Napkins. This is from this afternoon because I had lunch. This is my receipt from some time ago. Another pen. Another pen. <laughs> I'm like a pen hoarder. People are always asking me for pens. Um, Purell, because this is necessary as well in New York City, if you know what I mean. I think I got some more in here. This is like a fancy one. Egyptian Princess got me this for my birthday. That. Okay, I'm going to have to go a little faster here. Um, more pens. <laughs> Lotion, which Egyptian Princess also got me. A receipt with three coupons for New York and Company, which is awesome. My iPod, of course. This is always with me, always. My sunglasses, white sunglasses. They say coach on them. They're not real. <laughs> um, uh, lip gloss. I have two lip glosses here. Got one that's got like a pink thing, pink, pinkish color. And this one is caramel latte. Love caramel latte things, flavored, smell, coffee, ice cream, all of it. This is my mirror. It's got Elvis on it because I'm an Elvis fanatic. Um, this is a little purse holder thing. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. Basically what you do is you put it onto the table and you hang your purse off of the end of it so you don't have to put your purse on the floor. I actually haven't used it yet, but I have it. <laughs> oh, wrapper from lunch. Highlighter, pink highlighter. Not that I ever really use it, but... Hair clip. Um, oh, that's it for that side. Okay, moving on. That was a text. Um, history 102. This is one of the classes that I'm taking, my European history class. And then this is my other notebook. This is the heavy one. This is a three subject notebook for my political science, economics, and history 104. Ricola. I'm big on cough drops for some reason this time of year. My powder, of course. I'm a CoverGirl, by the way. I don't know which ones you guys prefer, but I, for some reason, CoverGirl products, they just work better for my skin. I don't know if it's because they're not as oily, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Their mascara is great. Their powder is great. I use their um, their concealer. I use... You name it, CoverGirl stuff works for me. I don't know what it is. And my keys. And this is a keychain that my best friend got me when he went to Disney World. Um, I thought it was really nice because I didn't really tell him to bring anything for me, and he just did it, which he doesn't usually do. <laughs> not that he's not a nice person, but you know what I mean. Guys don't do stuff like that. Um, and this is my Elvis keychain that I got in Tennessee. And it's missing three stones. I don't know what happened to them. I just looked at my keys one day, and they were gone. And it's very sad. 
Um, look at this. More pens. Jeez. I got more pens. Two red ones, which I don't know why. Quarter. Always good to have quarters. Hairband. Scrunchy, whatever you call it. Um, more lip gloss. This one is amazing. It's called... It's Beauty Rush. I don't know the color. Ice Teased. <laughs> Ice Teased. Um, but yeah, this color on me, what? Stops traffic. Um, perfume. This is from the Sex and the City line, and it came in a box with, like, it's three of these little ones, and they have all got different names. This one says Love. This is Love. <clears throat> and they've got Lust, and they've got Kiss, and then they've got, like, a big bottle of whatever the regular one is, whatever it's supposed to be. And then just a bunch of garbage in here. i got, like, wrappers everywhere. Garbage! And that's that. And then in my little pocket here, this is the last part. <laughs> Money. And, of course, more pens! And what else? Oh, more lip gloss. I've got, like, a million pens and 40,000 lip glosses in here. And I've got my, of course, my Blistex. So, and that's what's in my bag today, yo. And it's still a little heavy, even though it has nothing inside. I guess it's because of the way the bag is. This is the bag, if you didn't see it properly the first time. Isn't it cute? I love it. I love it. So, yeah, that's the stuff in my bag, yo. <laughs> um, okay, so, see you tomorrow. Oh, I forgot to tell you about stuff. Bono Langone. What? Okay, so he is a contestant on American Idol this year. Um, barely am I blocking the mic, I'm sorry. I think I am. Yes, Stefano Langone. He's a contestant on American Idol this year. Um, almost got sent home last week. Um, had to sing for his life because, like, the judges picked people to, like, sing and whatever for, like, a second shot or whatever it is. Anyways, so he sang, um, I Need You Now by Smokey Norful. And OMG, he's so good. He's so good, you guys. He's so good. Like, throughout the whole competition, I was like, oh, he's alright. He's got an okay voice, whatever. He did that performance, and I was like, holy schmoly, what the flirt? What? I mean, so good. So good. I think I'm going to put a link in the description down here. Make sure you click on it and listen to this guy's performance. I mean, from that moment, I mean, like, what the thing is, he did it live on TV, and, like, we watched it, and it moved you. It was like you felt it through your entire body. At the end, you had goosebumps. I was just like, oh, my gosh, this guy's amazing. So, um, yeah. Hopefully I haven't built your expectations up too high, but check him out. Check him out. He's good. And if you can vote, if you're in this country, for instance, <laughs> and you can vote, um, they've opened online voting this year, too, which is really good. Um, vote for him, please. Keep him in the competition. He's so good. And I really want him to go far, because he's just so good. And I followed him on Twitter, and he followed me back, so <laughs> I'm sort of feeling like, yes, vote for him, please. Keep him happy, please. So... Yeah. So vote for him. Okay. Now you can go now. Bye!